What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Rich. Here to talk some NBA prop plays over on Prize Picks for Monday, February 13th. We have a decent slate tonight, some good picks, but let's dive into the plays because there are some pretty interesting ones that I have found and I do kind of like. Maybe I don't like them, but let's dive into them right after the intro. For all the high-flying action, take a step back and relax. It's time to count that money, the NBA props, no look any further. You know what time it is, presented by Prize Picks, NBA props, let's count that money, man. All right, so there's two here that I want to highlight very quickly before we get into kind of the two plays I like a little bit more. It's Damian Lillard over 35 points and RJ Barrett over 19 points. Now, right now on DraftKings, the line is even for Damian Lillard at 35 and a half, and it is slightly juiced to the under for RJ Barrett. I have them both projected for overs. Now, again, Damian Lillard for 35 points. I'm not saying you take it because, I mean, I bet the under for him a few days ago and it hit, but he scored 33. So again, he's definitely got an ability to do that. The main reason why I wanted to bring it up is because his line is just insanely high right now. 33 points a game over his last five games, playing 37 minutes, just torching everybody. But again, the Lakers defense is terrible against point guards. We've talked about that many times. When he plays the Lakers, here's a game log for Lillard against the Lakers. You see kind of covering up the dates, but... 31st in 2021, scored 18. He's got 41, 24, 25, 38, 35. So it's like, it's there. He he can do it. It's not, again, 48, 41. Like, he scores 40 on them a couple times. He can score 38, score as much as he wants to score, he can probably score on them. The problem is the number. It's so high. 35 is like, holy shit. But the Lakers defense is that bad. If you like it, riskier play, very high number. But I don't hate it. The number says take it. The data says take it. The projections are kind of split on it. See what the line does. But again, you're probably not going to get it at 35. If the line moves any further, it'll probably stay at 35 and a half. And then you're praying he gets to 36, which again, 35, 36, not a big difference, but could be be the difference between a cash and a non-cash. RJ Barrett at 19, I do like anything under 20 for RJ is pretty good. He's been scoring about 19.6 a game. 23 is where I have projected against Brooklyn. I think he does have the advantage with his size and who, but again, the issue is, does he see DFS? Maybe. And that's where things can kind of go wrong for RJ Barrett. Um, 19 is a fine number, but as you see, not a lot of juice towards the under on DraftKings at 19 and a half. So it's a little bit of edge there getting it at 19 and uh, on price picks and the line being 19 and a half on DK with not a whole lot of juice to either side. Now, the two plays I do like a little bit better are Daniel Gafford over his points at 10 and a half. As you can see, this line is minus 130 on DK right now. He's been averaging 11.2, projected for 13.1 relatively even matchup, but you know I like to play big against Golden State because they don't have anybody tall that can stop anybody. So lots of opportunities for offensive rebounds and putbacks and as well, you know, alley-oops, all those various things. Probably a more of an advantage for Christos Porzingis, but I do like Gafford as well. The only issue for him is the limited minutes. He only plays about 25 a game, but you only need him to get 11 points. 10 is probably like right where he needs to be. I am projected for 12 and DK seems to think that he's probably going to go over 53% chance to go over. So not a bad play. And definitely the data supports that one. And number one is Jared Allen. Um, Jared Allen, pretty much everything is over in, in my model. Price fix did bump his points and rebounds um, up, I believe to 27 or 27 and a half or something like that. Really close to the par number, but they haven't bumped the par number right now. So the points and rebounds is one above the DraftKings line, but the points rebounds assist is right at the DraftKings line. Now it's even right now, as you can 28th worst at defending the center position. We know that San Antonio is awful. They trade the way Jakob Pertl. It's going to make their defense just even worse. But again, you see Jared Allen has been doing very well. One of those games does include a pretty big performance when uh, Donovan Mitchell and point guard Darius Garland were not playing in that one. But Jared Allen is still really good. And against this San Antonio front court should have no problem. The issue is blowout and limited minutes. He plays about 32 a game, but you can see averaging around 34 with 31 as the projection for kind of the norm as to what Jared Allen would be expected to do expected to do against the San Antonio Spurs. So he's the kind of place I like today. Jared Allen, if you like him, take him. Fantasy score, points, rebounds, assists. I mean, dude, it's like an over for everything Jared Allen today. I do like the Gafford play. I think Lillard is a little bit risky with the high total, but again, the DK line is still 35 and a half at relatively even just minus the VIG. 
And then as well, you have RJ Barrett, where you do have a half point edge for that play as well with very little juice to the under. Check the other sports pushers to make sure. But overall, I think it is both a pretty good play. And like I said, I do have both them projected for overs. Jared Allen, probably the strongest play when it comes to data, correlation, and kind of where it come, where he wins and where the defense is the weakest. The problem is limited minutes and potentially a blowout. But other than that, I think it's probably the most one of the most solid plays on the board. And I do think there's some good edge with Gafford. And obviously the sports books tend to agree with us there. So so as always, if you tell, give price picks hell. And if you fail, do not bail. I'll be back tomorrow with more NBA picks and bets. But until next time, make sure to drop us a like and subscribe for all future content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.